What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and man, there has been a lot unfolding in the last 24 hours in Congress. I'm gonna get you caught up on everything in chronological order, stick with me, because this has been evolving even from the last hour. We have got updates, and all of this is gonna be directly tied to how we're gonna be addressing stimulus. And this is your stimulus check update and your breaking news update. Now, as you know, right now, Congress has turned their attention towards the filibuster and the voting rights legislation. And this is gonna be impacting stimulus because if they pass this through and they get rid of the filibuster in the Senate, which requires 60 votes out of the 100 seats to pass through legislation, it would go away and all it would require from here on out is a majority vote, which means essentially limitless reconciliation. That's right. As right now, Democrats are in full control of Congress in the Senate. They'd be able to pass through any legislation they'd like just so long as they can stay unified and get all those senators on board. And right now they're having trouble with that with Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, but if they could, they could essentially pass through whatever they like. Now, that is what they are currently trying to propose. Well, take a look at this, you guys. Let's start off with what happened yesterday, and I'm gonna take you through the course of everything. So, House passed the voting rights package yesterday. They passed it. It passed in the House. It has gone through. On this vote, the yeas are 220. The nays are 203. The motion is adopted. Without objection, a motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. The motion is passed. And take a look, seeing articles coming out like this now, House passes the voting rights package, setting up the Senate filibuster showdown. And this is where it's all gonna be going down, is in the Senate, you guys. We're gonna see if they're gonna be able to do this. Well, yesterday, I reported to you right away that Kirsten Sinema shut it down and said no way. She gave a speech saying that she will not support getting rid of the filibuster, that it needs to stay in place. Gave a very lengthy speech letting us know that power switches back and forth and that the filibuster, it helps protect the minority from the majority of passing their own agenda's legislation, and she said it does switch sides back and forth. So take into consideration that even though Democrats are in control now, that one day Republicans will be, and then the tables will be turned. So uh, she gave that speech and pretty much shut it down. And right after that, take a look at this, you guys. President Biden concedes that the U.S. push to pass the voting rights bill may fail, confessing, <laughs> letting us know doesn't look like it's gonna happen. He doesn't think he can get Kirsten Cinema on board. Take a look, you guys. I hope we can get this done. The honest to God answer is, I don't know whether we're gonna get this done. But I know one thing, as long as I have a breath in me, as long as I'm in the White House, as long as I'm engaged at all, I'm gonna be fighting to change the way these legislatures have moved. Now, I'm gonna be sharing with you the entire footage so you can see it for yourself from President Joe Biden and what he had to say. But also, you guys, now today, just a little while ago, we heard from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who said that they were gonna be putting it on the floor, on the Senate today for a vote. And it looks like he has changed his tune because it doesn't look like this is gonna pass with Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin's support. Take a look, you guys. Schumer, to miss his own Senate filibuster change deadline with loss insured, saying if we put it on the floor, it is going to fail. Even the president himself is saying it, so we're gonna be changing the deadline. I'm gonna let you take a look and see it for yourself and get you all the details right now. Oh, and also, if you missed my video from earlier this morning, you might wanna check it out right after this one as we receive word of the breaking news that the Supreme Court has overruled President Joe Biden's vaccine mandate requiring businesses to have their employees vaccinated. That's right, they said you can't do it, and they did have one thing, though, in there that they upheld. So you guys, check that out right after this one. And also, I've got in there some state stimulus updates as well. And also wanted to let you guys know, thank you for all the support on the second channel, Steve Ram Finance. If you're interested in growing wealth and personal finance, consider joining. I'll pin a comment down below. I hope the content helps out a lot of people. I'm planning on starting to upload on that channel weekly, and maybe I'll start picking up the pace as it goes and it starts to grow, you guys. And I hope that that blesses you. But right now, let's go ahead and dive into the latest on economic news and let's start off by smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm helps me out a ton thank you so much I appreciate it also leave your comments share this out if this is your first time here you want to stay up to date totally free to do so all you got to do is hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and if you got any questions shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at Steve Ram 3 but with that being said you guys let's go ahead and dive into this video footage and get you caught up as to what's unfolding right now in Congress 
All right, so we're going to be taking a look at President Joe Biden's speech so you can hear it for yourself. But first up, let's take a look at this article that's going to give us a little bit of context. So this came out just this morning, link in the description below, and it says United States President Joe Biden has conceded he is unsure if his Democratic Party will be able to pass landmark voting rights reform legislation after key senators doubled down on their opposition to the change of the Senate rules. Biden had met with Democratic senators on Thursday in hopes of gaining support for a temporary rule change that would allow only a simple majority of the 100 members of the chamber to pass the voting rights legislation. Well, under the current rule, a minority of just 41 senators can block the passage of the legislation. And the chamber is currently split 50-50, 50 Republicans, 50 Democrats. And with Vice President Kamala Harris, a Democratic vice president, casting a deciding vote in the event of a tie. The honest to God answer is, I don't know whether we can get this done. Biden told reporters after the meeting, as long as I'm in the White House and as as long as I'm engaged at all, I'm going to be fighting, he said. Mr. President, is there a path forward, Mr. President? Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Senator Sinema is opposed to filibuster reform. Can you get this done? First of all, I'll ask questions about complicated subjects like, can you get this done? I hope we can get this done. The honest to God answer is, I don't know whether we can get this done. Is this mic on? I guess, anyway. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm not sure either. But anyway, I hope we can get this done. But I'm not sure. But one thing for certain, one thing for certain, like every other major civil rights bill that came along, if we missed the first time, we could come back and try it a second time. We missed this time. We missed this time. And the state legislative bodies continue to change the law, not as to who can vote, but who gets to count the vote. Count the vote. Count the vote. It's about election subversion, not just whether or not people get to vote. Who counts the vote? That's what this is about. That's what makes this so different anything else we've ever done. I don't know that we can get it done, but I know one thing. As long as I have a breath in me, as long as I'm in the White House, as long as I'm engaged at all, I'm going to be fighting to change the way these legislatures have moved. Thank you. Wow, there you have it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts. Now, we heard him say that it was a miss. They missed this time, but they're going to be able to try again. So take a look at reporters asking about that statement to White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki right after. Now, this was yesterday, and now in a second, I've also got an update for you from the White House, from Jen Psaki, from today. Take a look, you guys. When he spoke to reporters after the Senate lunch today, he spoke about the voting rights push in the past tense. He said, we missed this time. What then is the political value in moving forward with these show votes, given that the president effectively has acknowledged that this process has ended and risks potentially shining a light on democratic divisions? Well, I think uh, you all can count who's for and against each vote, whether it's changes to the uh, to the Senate rules or uh, supporting these these voting bills themselves. And I think it's very. Uh, people publicly know where senators stand at this point in time. I will leave it to, we will leave it to, and we'll work lot in lockstep with him, Leader Schumer, to determine what this next steps are here, and I know he's spoken a bit to that. But ultimately, um, this is about continuing to press uh, to move forward on the protection of voting rights and to use it as a moment to elevate this issue as an important issue for people across the country. Um, and of course, any new senator is going to be put in the position of determining what side of history they're going to stand. On. And that's, I guess, the purpose of a vote. So there you have it. Now, that was yesterday. And you heard White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki say President Joe Biden is going to continue to push to get this through. But the reporter asked her, what is the point of bringing it to the floor today as it's scheduled to go to the floor Friday if we know it's going to fail? You need all the Democratic senators in there to vote in favor of it. And if you got one no, it's going to fail. And we heard her say, listen, we're going to leave that up to Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to decide 
when they're going to be voting on it. And I'm going to share with you the video footage here in just a second of what he had to say as he agrees. And he is going to be rescheduling because he knows if he brings it to the floor today, it is going to fail. But just 30 minutes ago, while I'm recording this video, we received word that there was another press briefing with White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki. And she was told that Joe Manchin has now come out and confirmed that he is a no as well. So that's two Democratic votes in the Senate that are a no on changing the filibuster. And she was outright asked, Will President Biden just give in to the fact that he cannot change their mind and just let this fail? Take a look at her response. Her mansion just said now in a statement that he does not want to change that. Has the president accepted that he cannot sway them when it comes to changing the filibuster and creating an exception? I think we're going to keep fighting uh, till the votes are had. But they have said today that they are not changing their positions despite an appeal directly from the president. And the president spoke to this after. Look, his job is to take on tough challenges, to speak out for what's right. And he thinks making changes to the rules in order to get voting rights passed and protect people's fundamental rights is right. We'll leave it to Leader Schumer on what the next steps are and what the process is from here. But we are going to keep uh, having meetings, keep having calls, and that will be what the president's uh, focus will be. So there you have it, you guys. That was just about 30 minutes ago from the time of this recording. Now, also, as I mentioned yesterday, this actually passed in the House, so now it's moving on to the Senate. Take a look, you guys. The House passed the voting rights legislation Thursday in a way that is intended to set up a battle in the Senate over the issues as well as the filibuster. Now, the measure passed was 220 to 203, and it says now it's going on to the Senate, and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is going to be deciding when this is going to be hitting the floor. Well, we heard from him as well, and you guys take a look at this. Mr. President. Majority Leader. I have a short announcement about the schedule. Uh, d uh, due to the circumstances regarding COVID, and another potentially hazard winter storm approaching the D.C. area this weekend, the Senate will adjourn tonight. However, we will be postponing recess so the Senate can vote on voting rights. We will return on Tuesday to take up the House-passed message containing voting rights legislation. Make no mistake, the United States Senate will, for the first time this Congress, debate voting rights legislation beginning on Tuesday. So there you have it, you guys. They're going to take it up Tuesday. Now, he mentioned that this is actually not due to the fact that he is concerned about the votes, but in actuality, because there's a storm coming and concerns about the pandemic. So, you guys, it's not going to be happening today. It has been postponed till Tuesday, the day after Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So, uh, we will see. That is when, apparently, we're going to be finding out whether or not the Senate will pass this through, if they can get those two Democratic senators' votes on board. And it just so happens to be very convenient that they're passing this on just a couple days, allowing them a little bit more time to see if they can get them on after just today. We heard them both say they are a solid no on changing the filibuster rule. So there you have it, you guys. That is the latest. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick second to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you like to stay up to date, totally free to do so. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Consider joining the second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. And if you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. But with that being said, you guys, I hope this reaches you well. There is a lot going on, and I will keep you up to date, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.